Are you better off getting a baby parrot or a adult, a rescue or a rehomed parrot? What are the pros and cons or cons and pros? And what's the best choice for you? I'm dying to hear what you guys think actually, because my opinion kind of goes back and forth. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond and a couple of other parrot books available on Amazon. Plus, the soon, right now, I have one, two, three, four species out here. I've got my white-bellied kaique, my Mexican redhead, my mealy Amazon, and my Indian ringneck just flew by. Um, did I say I already have, or did I already say I have over 22 species of parrots? I love parrots. They're my bliss. They're my joy. I adore them. I myself have parrots that I have gotten as babies, parrots that have hatched here as babies and that I've hand fed, also hand fed Ursulus, and parrots that I have adopted as adults like Henry. What are the pros and cons and what's the best choice for you? This is a really interesting topic because if you know me, you know my mission is to help reduce the need for rescues and help increase your blissful bond. Which way is more blissful for you? To get a baby or to get an adult? And the thing is, there's really advantages and disadvantages to each. So here is some of my experience with both of them. When you get a baby like Ursulus, it's true. Ursulus just loves us and adores us. He's far more tame than Henry. Henry really likes Ursulus and he's bonded to Ursulus. He doesn't dislike me, but he's not really bonded to me. Now, that would have been different if I didn't have another Amazon. I let the two of them become friends and bond because I knew that they both needed a buddy. I find that parrots do best when they have a buddy that they can be with 24 seven. It's their immediate flock, it's their immediate mate, and it means a lot to them. A mate in this case is not only a best friend, but it can also be a partner for life. And with parrots, it doesn't matter whether they're the same gender or different genders, they just bond. And why not? Their safety and security, their social well-being, everything is tied into having that mate and having a flock. So they both needed it and they have both been so much happier with it. Before we got Henry, Ursulus was kind of sad because our other Amazon wanted nothing to do with them with him, our other Amazon, Tico, had a best friend, already had a mate, and he was like, look, I'm taken. Go away, leave me alone. And it was hard on Ursula. Now, like I was saying, I hand raised Ursula, I hand fed him. I love him, I adore him. He loves us, he's really a part of our family. It's true, because he was a baby, I'm more bonded with him. He grew up with me, he knows me at a more intimate level because his safety and security and his development were dependent on me and I provided that. And for me, he's provided a sweet, loving bird that I just think is so wonderful. He is just in my heart. Henry, on the other hand, has had the advantage that I didn't have to feed him 10 times a day when he was a baby. I didn't have to worry about whether or not he was eating. I didn't have to worry about whether or not he was stable. He didn't go through a baby phase of biting and, and of trying to find his place in the flock. Henry was already established. And for me, that is like a weight off my soul, shoulders. As a matter of fact, when we got our macaw, our green wing macaw, I decided that first I would get Rosie and then I was gonna get her a friend, but I wanted to get Rosie and she was already an adult. She was already six years old. And I was like, you know, I don't want to start with a baby because a big macaw like that can take a long time to wean. In the past, when I weaned my macaw, nine months later, I was hardly feeding her. I was feeding her like once every other day, but I was still taking care of her in that mom role. You know, what's going on here is three's the crowd and I'm number three and Henry's kind of going, where's my place? I'm the one in this relationship, not this lady. Don't forget, you love me. That's what's going on. It's okay. It's all right, Henry. It's okay. Yeah. Yes, sweet Uh huh. Yeah. I see. Okay. So, 
Um, with Henry, you know, I just, I brought him home from my favorite rescue, Bird Gardens of Naples, and she rehomes all over the U.S., although probably the contiguous U.S., and um, fantastic rescue. And I brought Henry home. He and Ursula started to befriend each other, and that was it. I didn't have to worry about whether or not Henry was eating. I didn't have to worry about anything. Just like a human baby, a young parrot baby has to gain their immune system. They have to learn to eat. You have to make sure they're eating. Once they're weaned, you still have to make sure that they're eating, that they know that other birds might bite their toes, or they know, you know, they know how to do things. You have to baby-proof your home. There are so many things to take care of that I didn't have to worry about with Henry. Henry and Rosie, my macaw, just walked in and they were birds. <laughs> it was so much easier on me. Don't get me wrong, I still watch to make sure that they're eating, that they're getting along with the other birds, that they know where they're safe, where they're not, you know, I make sure that they're adjusting and fitting into the flock, but it is a matter of days and just observation as opposed to really even with a weaned baby that you bring home you still have to really watch and it's a longer period of maybe a week two weeks three weeks to watch and make sure that they're adjusting well that they're fitting in well for example if you have a dog you want to make sure that they know to stay away from the dog you want to watch where you put your cage make sure that they're not too close to the dog and things like this, they just take longer when you have a young baby parrot as opposed to an adult. So it's kind of like the baby might give you more bonding opportunities, although some of the birds I'm most bonded to are my yellow nape gamazon and Rosie, and those I, I adopted both as adults. So it doesn't mean that you won't bond deeply, but the advantage to a baby is that you're going to have a very deep bond. The advantage to getting a adult bird is that they're already established. You don't have to worry about baby stuff. You don't have to worry about them not eating. They're kind of a lot easier. It's like the transition is so fast. It can be a real weight off your shoulder. And you can kind of just jump right into having a parrot pet. Often, when you go to a rescue, they sort of weed out the parrots that maybe have been so emotionally damaged that they can't really go back to being a pet. And then they'll often place them like in a zoo or a place where the bird can just be a happy bird, maybe in an aviary with other birds. And then they'll take the ones, the parrots that really want to be a pet. They've been a pet. Maybe something happened to their owner, maybe their owner passed away, or something happened where they were so loved, they're going to jump right back into being a loving parrot. And so, at a good rescue, you can find both. A very easy and lovable parrot, and a parrot that's going to take work. And you can generally tell the rescue what you feel you're equipped to handle. And a really good rescue is going to work with you and make sure that you get something, something a bird that's a good fit. So, Total advantages both ways, total disadvantages both ways. Again, the disadvantages to a baby is that it takes a lot more work. The disadvantages to an adult is that you might not bond as much. I'll never be as bonded with Henry. If I took Ursulus away and I turned Henry into a kidnapped bird who had no access to any other birds and I only let him hang out with me, he would start to like me better but it still wouldn't be quite the same because he just, he spent 17 years without me. And so a lot of that developmental time without me just makes a difference. My Amazon Lorenza, who is very bonded to me, she and I bonded from the very beginning. She chose me, so it was different from the beginning. So total advantages and disadvantages for both. And like I said, I'd love to hear what you think, what your experience is, and basically which advantages you like best. Thanks for joining me in this little video. Please be sure to give the three of us one of these, this love triangle. Any questions or comments below, it helps our juice. And if you want to find out how to connect with me, how to join my YouTube membership, about my books, anything like that, check out the description below. 
or my new book, 30 Perfect Apartment Parents for You to Choose From. It's going to be coming out soon. So stick around and you'll find out more about that and I'll see you in the next Heather video.